What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how lateral force is generated without cornering of tire. So without spending much time, let's start now. Non-symmetry of tire construction leads to a generation of lateral force. So the first phenomenon I'm taking is conicity. Tire conicity is where a properly inflated tire causes a vehicle to pull to right or left when driven. This is due to the manufacturing error of tire. This is our section of tire and in this we are having the steel belt. Basically, the displacement of steel belts while manufacturing of tire causes conicity. Let's see how. Here is the tire section shown with two belts. As you can see, the belts are symmetrically placed above the center. So when the tire is inflated completely, then there will be the symmetric distribution of air inside the tire and your tire will be perfectly circular. Now, in the third figure, you can see that the belts are not placed symmetrically. So, at the right part, the tire is stiff as compared to the left part of the tire. Now, when you inflate the tire, the tire will get more expanded from the left side as compared to the right side because the left side is less stiff. This will make the tire tapered and the tire will have tendency to rotate in this direction and will experience a lateral force. Note that the direction of lateral force doesn't change on changing the rotation of tire. Here, the curve is between the lateral force and the slip angle alpha. The red is for the forward movement and blue is for the backward movement. For both rotations, the curve intersect above x-axis and have the same value at zero slip angle. This value is Fy conicity. Okay, now let's see the second phenomena, the camber thrust. Force generated perpendicular to the direction of travel of the rolling tire due to its camber angle and the finite contact patch is the camber thrust. This force is also due to the road camber. This is mainly important for the bike tires. And for the car tires, it is important when the tires are making different camber angles due to road camber. So this is a tire with some camber angle. Now, as the tire is rolling on the road, it will get deformed and will be flat from bottom. Due to this deformation, the point P1 on the tread of the tire will move to position P2 and the force will be generated due to tension in the tread in this direction. On resolving it into the components, we will get the perpendicular force Fz and the lateral force Fy. So this is how the lateral force is generated due to camber. The third phenomenon is ply steer. Due to coupling between the different planes of tire, that is, the force in one plane affects the deformation in the other plane. This effect is called ply steer and this develops the lateral force. Here I am deforming the metal block first. You can see that the deformation of metal is in one direction only. But when I deform the tire tread rubber block along the x-axis, then the deformation is something like this. Deformation produce a twisting in the rubber block and also the deformation in x, y and z direction. Now, when the tire is rolling on the road, there will be deformation due to stretching of the treads for making the tire flat from the bottom. So this is stretching in x-axis produces the forward traction force. In z-axis, it produces the support force. And in y-axis, the stretching will produce the lateral force. Here, in ply steer, if you see the curve between the lateral force and slip angle, the forward and backward forces are opposite in direction. You can see we are having F1 ply steer for the forward direction and F2 ply steer for the backward direction. So the direction of lateral force changes when the rotation of the tire is changed. Okay, so this is how the lateral force is generated due to ply steer, conicity and the camber thrust. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Also share the video with the friends and colleagues if you find the video useful. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. And also if you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.